All right, this is for all you uh, heartbroken bastards out there that just uh, got done with an excruciating breakup. Just had their heart ripped out of their chest, still beating, thrown to the ground, and tap danced on. I know what you're going through. You thought you had something special. You're telling all your friends, hey, guess what? I found, uh, I found where rainbows come from. They come from, uh, this person's asshole right over there. And everything's all hunky-dory, filled with, uh, chicken nuggets and hot dogs and asshole rainbows. But as time goes by, you start arguing a little bit more, and then a lot more. And those asshole rainbows, while well, they start to kind of fizzle out, and all that's left is a bunch of shit. And then you actually break up. And man, does that suck. They move all their shit out. You come home from work and your house looks like it was raided by the wet bandits in Home Alone. Half your shit's gone. Weeks later, you're still finding things missing in the house. She took the goddamn can opener? Son of a bitch, she left me the goddamn aluminum foil and the hydrogen peroxide, but she couldn't leave me the goddamn fucking can opener. And so there you are, sitting there with your uh, fucking can of tuna that you can't even open. Sitting there in total silence in an empty house. Oh, so this is why people kill themselves. And you're absolutely depressed. Your, uh, your friends are trying to get you to come out, take your mind off of things. Hey, you should come out with us tonight. No can do, bro. I'm busy tonight. I gotta cry in my car and get drunk. Oh, come on. Just go out with us. Nope, I gotta cry in my car and get drunk. Oh, come on. I said I gotta cry in my fucking Ford Taurus and get drunk. God damn it. And then you finally do drag your lifeless carcass out, try to have good time with your friends, but you can't even pay attention. All you can think about is whoever your ex is seeing these days. Yeah, he played Mr. Roper on Three's Company, you remember? Hey! Hey, asshole, you listening to me? Hey! Hey, are you alright? No. I'm pretty fucking far from alright. I need to buy a gun! I need to buy a gun with only one bullet! And that feeling of dread follows you around everywhere that you go. It's like when you go to your friend's house and his hyper-ass little brother always wants to wrestle with you and he grabs onto your leg and he won't fucking let go of your fucking leg even though you want him to fucking let go of your fucking leg but he just fucking won't. You're walking around like an asshole and he's clinging on for dear life. Yeah, that's what it's like. And you try to get rid of all the shit that reminds you of her. You burn her house down in Minecraft. You're posting song lyrics on Facebook every day like, uh, yeah, yeah, she'll see these fucking sad-ass Bon Jovi lyrics and she'll know. She'll know it's about her. But then a few weeks, months, years, maybe a lifetime goes by and you start feeling a little better. You start smiling again and things are looking all right. But then your fucking brain comes in. Hey, hey, I just wanted to remind you, everything's not all right and you're probably gonna die alone. All right, see you later. But you just gotta keep going. I mean, how many fucking lyrics can you post to Facebook anyways? Shake that little bastard off your leg. Have a few drinks. Lord knows I have. That's the, uh, that's the month of November. Yeah, he had a few drinks, all right. Get out there and find some more asshole rainbows. Nope, no rainbows in here. Just poop. But the poop is green. BruceDude.com